Michael Hill with Canine Chronicle TV, and today I'm out in Tomsbrook, Virginia with my friend Frank Bayless. I'll give you a little bit about the colors here. This is sort of your traditional, what everybody thinks a Border Collie should look like. And is that what the father of the litter looks like? Yes, yes. He's a, a standard black and white. Um, he has a blaze. Um, there's a white collar, four white feet and a white tip on the tail. Now, it could be solid black, and that's perfectly acceptable. Um, it could be a tricolor, it could have tan points, oh. and that's perfectly, it's called a tricolor. Okay. Okay, then we have merles. Here, you take this one. Yeah. And we have two merles, both ex perfectly correct. One that has little small dots, yeah. um, and, it, and it also has a white collar and a little white blaze. This one you can see the white on more because it has a black eye patch and a merle patch, but it has the blaze, a little thinner white collar, but big black patches, and it's perfectly acceptable. Now, the mother was a red merle. The father was black and white, but did not carry, well, that forgot Border Collie's chocolate, mm -hmm. did not carry the chocolate gene. So all we got out of them were blue merles and, and uh, black and white. If he would have carried the chocolate gene, we could have gotten uh, red chocolate and white, okay. chocolate merles, blue merles, and black and white. Right, but that's with the recessive. They both have to. She, now, all these puppies will carry okay. the chocolate gene because their mother was a chocolate merle. So if this was bred to a chocolate merle, you could get chocolate merle puppies. Right, you get all four white. colors.